The surface redressing of the stone used a pneumatic air chisel to remove the loose fragments from the surface. The limestone cracks required a DHL lime injection technique. The technique involved drilling holes three quarters of an inch apart into the crack one half inch deep. Applying the uh, distilled water to the crack injection holes to get the uh, stone soaked down prior to injection. You want to inject or you want to soak down the wall uh, at least an inch and a half on each side of the crack. We'll let that set until that becomes surface saturated dry. Surface saturated dry. Okay, it's still moist. It's still, uh, it's dried now to the surface touch. Now we're going to start the injection by inserting the needle into the uh, first porthole. And we're going to watch for the material to come out the second porthole as we uh, inject material into the crack. The process of removing deteriorated stone from the surface of the wall requires the use of a pneumatic hammer to remove the stone surface. We just uh, finished removing all the mortar joints out of the wall in this uh, panel on the uh, east elevation of the old cathedral and we're now installing the lime putty mortar uh, in between the stone. You can come in and see I just uh, finished spraying the wall down. It started to uh, take up the mortar and uh, waiting for the uh, surface to become uh, surface saturated dry before I start pointing. There's a little bit of glistening on there. I'm going to wait for that to disappear before I start inserting mortar into the joint.